We now return to Let's Play Warhammer Armageddon. Alright, so we've got this crazy mission here where we have to actually discover the hexes that we need in order to complete the mission. Uh, thanks in large part to the flags on these two, I'm thinking that's where they are. So, we're going to deploy accordingly and uh, maybe run down there. Now there are a couple of wrecks out here, is that what it's trying to tell me? I mean the thing is, right, these are now there is okay there is actually a plane there there's not one here though crash site flags control at least two crash site flags until the end of the mission well that's where those flags are so why was it telling me I can't really I'm just concerned that I'm actually thinking about this completely wrong and I'm going to do it wrong. But, uh, well, there you go. So let's put down... Now, are they going to be able to even get through there? Am I, am I getting these guys stuck? I really hope not. Um, the question is, will you be able to move first? I need the scout to move first. We'll put an ordinance up here. I feel like, because this is a much larger area, Anyone we send over this way is going to face problems first. Oh, oh! I, I didn't even see the bridge crossway here. Well, you know what? Let's just forget this whole area up here. Although this is a very defensible area. We, uh, we're going to need that? I don't think so. We need to be holding these two things. So, we'll get, uh, we'll get a different squad down here. Actually, you're better right there. Uh, I'll set you up. Here, now these guys are going to be jogging a lot further. But they do have transports with them, so I feel okay about this. Uh, we'll put you there, put support in here just in case. I mean, just in case we really happen to run into some trouble. I want these guys to... I really don't want to set these guys up on the outside to get there, but maybe we'll have to. It kind of seems that we will have to. I'm going to set you up there. Mortar should probably not actually go there, and in fact, I would like to get the mortar out here so it doesn't have to try and maneuver through the trenches. I think the trenches are actually going to hurt me there. Since you have speed, I'll put you back there so you can move a little bit more effectively. We can put these guys in the trenches. And I really don't want you out there, so I'll move you back here. Now, that's actually not a good idea if we run into... Let's actually swap you out and move the flamer up, and then if we happen to find some vehicles, maybe you can fire back. Okay, let's end deployment and hope that I am right about how this works. So could we actually get all the way there and look for it? Looks to be the case. Okay, now we do, these do cover some line of sight. So can I actually get, nah, not very far. Unfortunately. Take out the knobs. Get you up there. You're going to be needed for that. Now, do we see anyone up here? We do not. So, I think I'll probably want to run these guys down. And just get them all prepped and ready for this area. Go ahead and get you over to here so you can at least see. And we'll just move everyone forward accordingly. So I, I really think that's where we need to go. We need to get this, and maybe, in fact, if I get this, I can just come around to here, because I'm willing to bet these are going to have something like this going on. That's a little what I was afraid of. This has got a Mega Blaster, though, so that's um, not so good. It's got 30% armor piercing. We should probably get rid of that as soon as possible. Oh, that's a good start. Can you actually get in here? Good. Well, that was easy. Unfortunately, this doesn't do me a whole lot of good right here, so we need to move you out of the way, perhaps into actual cover? So I can get my Melta, my Melta, 
my inferno cannon up there let's do that it'll also open up some of the surrounding area and we don't see anybody so that's promising uh, should I get you in there to destroy that no I probably need you to actually be yeah let's move you out and attack that wait a minute were you actually able to do more damage here no so that's gonna block line of sight what about just getting right up there oh that does that, that, that's better <laughs> that's a little bit better we take one damage that I'm not a big fan of, but... Okay. Probably actually should have been back here making some better choices. We, uh, get rid of these guys completely? Not really sure why we were only able to do so much to them. I feel a little gypped on that. But the Ogryn can come in and do what's needed. We should probably keep some vehicles in the back. We've kind of choked off this whole area here, apparently. So never mind, we'll have to move people forward just so I can actually use them. And as for you, maybe I want you to come out here just to extend my view out there. Okay. So we didn't apparently find anybody here. Is that how that went? Because I was in there, I, it's hard to see on the mini-map whether or not I actually control that. I don't think that's actually showing up. So maybe I'm actually going to have to work on how I'm discovering some things here. Like, would, would actually just being in there help? Let's keep moving down. I really shouldn't be doing scouting with non-scouting units. Ah, okay. Now we see some stuff. These are knobs. Let's take care of the Zappa. You ought to be able to... Nope. I was going to say, you ought to be able to finish that off, but... You're a worthless Laz cannon toting sentinel. That's not really useful to me. That should get rid of it, though. Need to get you up here. Need to get the ordnance moving because that's going to be important in a hurry. Keep getting you down here. And uh, I'm doing the terrible thing again where I am essentially separating my forces. I'm stretching out a little too much. We should be okay though. I don't think we're going to take too much damage. This tank could use a little help though. We did just lose one strength on this. Uh, can you actually get up in here? Okay, let's see if I can't weaken them before. Take some damage back. I think maybe moving forward I'd do a little bit better. Let's not do that. Well, okay, because it's a storm bolter. So if I want to be safe, I guess I would do it from back here. We have not done a damn thing against these sluggas, so... Uh, almost. Can we almost get these knobs out of here? Okay. No major loss of life for me, so that's good. Uh, I guess I could have brought you in. Probably to finish that off a little bit better. May as well bring you in and do something, because they can't attack back. That's not enough to get me there. Oh, no, 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 no. Not, not there. Not in the bindweed. It's not actually called bindweed. Gropeweed? Uh, we don't want to land there. That's a mistake and a half. What about over here? Sitting on the lake? Okay, now we are very close to taking this one instead, so maybe at this point, once we clear this out, I definitely want to check that out first, but uh, at this point maybe we'll split up. I can only imagine there's going to be a large force down here, though. 
So maybe it would be better to go all the way down there and then come up the side and take this from behind. So these will block line of sight and we're going to have to be, you know, there's going to be that deadly choke point right here that's not going to help anybody. Wow, we lost a little bit too much there. A little bit too much. I really need to get, I mean, these guys have got cover. These guys need to be dealt with by Ogren. On the other hand, maybe we can just whittle them down. It seems to be fairly effective. Very effective. Okay. Now, do we continue moving forward? I don't think so. I think I should probably have those guys sitting for a bit. Okay, we got some Gretchen coming up, so let's get in here. I probably should be coming over here. It doesn't actually appear to be anyone here? That's crazy. What? Just keep moving these guys forward. We'll block off this little choke point. I don't know what's on the other side of the Gretchen. We'll slowly move you forward over to there, and we'll move you guys here for an assault. We'll move you anticipating needing some ordnance, and maybe we'll move you guys over here as well. That Valkyrie... I don't know. Should I move it? I don't really want to move it too far because I don't want it to actually become a target. So maybe I'll just move it. Right there. We don't seem to have anybody else. Okay. Well, let's move you forward. That's it? Just a pack of Gretchen? Alright. Well, we'll take it nice and slow, then. Oh, look at what these do. Look at what these do! Back up. <laughs> you want to come a little bit closer. Uh, we can stay in three. Really? We still didn't get it? Well, okay. I guess we'll just move in here and... do an unnecessary... Oh, I moved it in too close for the Medusa gun. That's why. Wow. Probably not the best idea that I would do. Uh, before we actually move you, let's move you down here and see... Okay, that's what I was afraid of. Um... I knew there was going to be some catch to this. Well, uh... Uh, shit. Do your best. Do your best. Okay. You're going to have to move way over there. I want you in a support role. You're going to have to come over here. Move over there, and you guys do not want to be in that. Okay. So, here we go. That sentinel's gonna get hurt just a bit. Just a bit. Survivors found. Guard them and search for more. What do you mean? We found survivors in here? Is that the one it was telling me? Oh no. Okay, well, uh, you're going to back up, but I can actually get most of that knob out of there if I really wanted to. I think maybe the gun wagon is probably the bigger threat. Then again, these guys did a heck of a lot of damage to the uh, Sentinel f no real reason. Um, actually, let's get you in here and see what you can do. Okay, you will take damage. I guess I should find out what the range on this is first. Three, so same as me. Alright, well we can wipe this out. Between the two. Or between the one. Well, damn. <laughs> That's not really useful for me here then. So maybe since this isn't going to do too much damage to these guys. 
And we'd we'd actually take a little bit of damage. Um, is there? A, can we move you out of the way, <laughs> just just for a bit, so that you can actually get in here and could get them up there. What about you? You could come in here. Okay, now these got flamers. I should probably use them against these guys. Not like that, though. We're gonna do way too much damage there. Not enough damage there. This would wipe them out. This would be a little more effective here. Get you in there. You ought to be able to do this. Maybe you? You've got a range on that Inferno Cannon. So yeah, that would actually do that. Or not, because... Fuck it all. What about you? Can you get here and maybe take this thing out? Then again, the Power Sword might just be the way to do it. How much would it be... Well, it would be very effective here, but I would take unacceptable losses. I mean, there's really no other good way to do this, so I'm going to move you down here to capture that. I think... I, I don't know. Was it telling me this one or that one? It must be telling me this one, because that's where the little... the little skull is. So, we've actually got to go all the way back up. That's going to be a pain in the ass. That will not do it. This will not do it. That's blocked by line of sight. Okay, can we fucking get rid of him? Okay. I think we're going to have to engage one way or the other, and I'm not thrilled about it. So that must be the one location. Then again, maybe not. Oh boy. We have a little icon there too. So why don't I have an icon here? I mean, I've captured... I Did I not capture that one? Did I not capture either of these? Are these the two? Uh... Oh shit. I think these just spawned. Enough survivors has been located for extraction. Okay, so I made a good choice here, uh, coming down this way first. We bypassed all of that nonsense. However, it looks to me like these guys just spawned, which is Cheaty McCheaterson. But. at least uh, have a better better shot here. Well, we'll take out a lot more of these guys, I think. Doing it a lot more damage to myself in the process. Get this into... I mean, does that actually work for me? Cover bonus-wise? Do I gain anything from that? I feel like we'd be better off with an assault. We probably would. What do they... Just, just let go. They got one to three, so it's the same as me. No matter what we do here. These guys are definitely... the target. Let's get that storm bolter in there. Let's get you out. These weeds shouldn't affect a flying unit, surely. Uh, 
Assault would be a much more effective thing to do there. I mean, actually, you know, your morale could use a little bit of boost. You're giving me some some problems here, and this would also be an essential thing to do. Because you're very low on strength. You're at two. Then again, I don't want to keep using up their experience, and I do have infantry back here that I have not been using to effect, and since I'm not using the support unit very effectively either, maybe I should get rid of that. Okay, so you've got that choice or that choice. I think lowering these guys, but then again, I haven't even touched these guys, so let's focus on that. And, uh, there we go. Okay. End turn. This tank is hurting and might be destroyed. Um. Until the end of the mission. Another seven turns. So, is everybody gonna come down this way? Is that what's going on? I think so. I mean, that's why the game was probably paused. In which case, I am not doing this very effectively at all. This is going to probably kill me. You need to get out of there. As much as I hate this idea. We need to heal you up, because right now you're worth nothing to me. So definitely once we've gotten these guys out, I need to be, uh, I need to be focused on healing everybody up, getting my, my necessary units supplied and fixed and all that stuff, get their, uh, morale up. <laughs> Firing squad, that's probably not a good idea, we don't need you to do that. You apparently can't attack from there, oh, because you're flamers, of course. What about an assault? Okay. So, now we have to go and defend some of these. In which case, we'll probably be moving you into more defensible areas. We're going to want to split these guys up so we're actually protecting this. And you, I think you're fine, but... We're going to have to just boost your morale for now. We'll save some of that... You know, maybe I should have some forward scouts once they actually see something. I, I think I'm just going to have to boost this up, because... I mean, we're, we're so low. But god, that lowers them from level 2 to level 1 immediately. And they're they're already worthless enough as it is very loath to do that. I, I would prefer to do it with these guys. I mean, the Medusa has 302 points. It's level 3. Let's just see how well I can do by increasing my morale. Uh, you can actually probably get into this position. I think we might need to send a flamer back. Get you... Morale. We'll get you up here. You can do morale. You can get into here. Should probably be making some efforts to move these guys. Okay. Now, I don't know. I mean, their strengths are still very weak, so this is. At some point, I'm going to have to do a little reinforcing. Like now. Survivor roundup complete. Extraction imminent. Four turns. Still not dead. That is horseshit. Okay. You guys cannot actually move up there. So you're going to have to move to here. 
I guess. I could move them back here and they could probably make it there in the next turn, actually. So I definitely want you here and you here. We want tanks protecting them. We need this to get up here. That, this guy could have done the, the job there. I guess we'll keep you in the center just so that you can help out. Reinforcement over there. Uh, morale boost? Sure, morale boost. And I think we're just fine where we are. Maybe move you into there. Uh, I mean, these guys are, are stuck. So we'll move you on to that. It's actually, no, 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 no. I should... Can I not actually... No. Okay, fine. You're moved. Consider yourself moved. And I'm not going to replace that sentinel. Because, damn, I hate these things. So, it was a blow to my battalion. Oh, good. Good. However... The fire has fallen. Even now the orcs are overrunning the hive. There are refugees fleeing lines of people tens of kilometers long, and they were the lucky ones. But now, warp storms surround the planet, isolating us, cutting us off from help. We are truly lost. Commander, there is nothing more you can do on Armageddon Prime. You can use the void ship you have recovered and go to Secundus. No! I have been monitoring communications between this officer and yourself. She speaks of cowardice and skirts heresy. We will stay and die with honor, just as the governor ordered us to do. Hmm. Commissar Yarek told me that he despises weak leadership. He considers men needlessly dying wasteful. I do not fight for empty glory, or for the egos of others. It is better we join our comrades in the south. Anything else would be a waste of manpower and resource. Very well. But quoting Yarrick every time we disagree will not stop me performing a summary execution should you falter in your duties. Citizens of Armageddon, there is no denying that these are dark times. Through the despicable guile of the orcs and, I'm afraid to say, incompetence and cowardice in a small number of our serving forces, the Xenos have taken Armageddon Prime. But those of us still living should fear not the equatorial jungle is dense, impenetrable. Their crude and shambolic vehicles can't get through the undergrowth. Like any hungry, stupid predator, they will now be sated and dozy from their feast. The orcs will not cross into Armageddon Secundus. You have my word. So let the beasts gloat over their short-lived victory. Eighty percent of our industry remains in the south, in my hand. And this industrial might produces weapons of war day and night. When we strike back, our victory will be fast and total. Now sleep easy in your beds, while I tirelessly plan to reconquer the North. Commander, I have received word from Captain Carone. He states that the orcs are swarming out of the jungle, and he is holding the line against them along the Minus River. He desperately needs reinforcements, but so far none have been assigned. I suggest you make for the captain's defensive position and lend him much needed aid. For once I concur with the adjunct commander. You may not wish to throw your men away in needless battles, but this is a crucial action. Emperor's mercy, thank you, commander. Von Straub has finally seen sense and sent us some reinforcements. Why did it take so long? We have not been sent by Von Straub. I can't even credit that fat fool for this. Then the Emperor himself must have directed you here. In any event, the Orcs are preparing another attack. My forces are shattered. Without your help, we will not hold this time. We will fight together to destroy those filthy Orcs. Or die in glory. I see the Commissariat is still recruiting vainglorious fools to do their bidding. There'll be plenty of opportunities to die, Commissar. Thousands of orcs are flowing from the jungle. It's an invasion. Yet Von Straub says it's nothing. A few green-skinned devils lucky enough to have found their way through the jungle. 
But you will see. Prepare your men. Deploy in defensive positions down the line. Here they come! Alright. Control all three victory hexes. They appear to be right here. So, uh, this is going to be, I guess, a defensive mission. It looks quite like that. So, uh, we'll probably want to do a little bit of unit swapping to get more support units and more defensive units and something that's going to be a little bit more useful against waves. What I imagine are waves of orcs. I'll end this one here and I'll see you next time.